हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू नागेश करजगी और किड्स स्कूल येस आई एम वीना टीचर डू यू रिमेंबर वॉट वी हैव स्टडीड इन द लास्ट सेशन ये स्टूडेंट्स डू यू रिमेंबर नाउ कैन यू टेल मी वॉट इज द अर्थ मेडअप ऑफ येस सी अ दिस इज द अर्थ न टेल मी वॉट इज द अर्थ मेडअप ऑफ वी हैव स्टडीड इन द लास्ट सेशन येस the earth is made up of rocks and soil okay now my next question is now i have shown you different types of rocks yes or no yes now can you tell me what are the rocks made up of yes rocks are made up of tiny grains are called mineral minerals which we get naturally from the nature in the uh, rocks we have studied four different types of rocks first is diamond diamond is the hardest rock second we have studied about granite granite also very hard rock where you can see the granite you can see at your kitchen the kitchen base okay you can see the third type we have studied coal coal is not very hard rock okay and the last one we have studied chalk chalk is very soft rock and it can break easily as you can see okay after this we have studied about soil okay you can see here in the last session also i have shown you different types of soil so i have collected these soil from different places and now even i have shown you the one a uh, small video how soil is formed now once again we will revise how soil is formed see long back ago there were only rocks on the earth okay like this rocks then what happened the action of sunlight wind and water these rocks broke into smaller pieces again main over many years the force of same sunlight water and wind these these rocks converted into smaller pieces can you see here like this smaller pieces then the same action due to the same see many years means it takes hundreds of years na huh, students so these tiny rocks so converted into the small tiny you can see this here very small small grains are there so this is the soil so these tiny rocks converted into the soil okay now let us revise about soil we have seen different types of soil okay and how soil is formed soil is formed with the tiny grains of rocks so even we have seen the layers of soil do you remember we have done one activity okay so even i told you in the last session we will see two more activity shall we start yes we will start now what does soil contained we are going to see okay through the activity now look at here soil contained air and water how we are going to see through activity so what is the first step take some soil in a bowl see today i have one bowl with me to show you activity you can see the bowl yes so what they said take some soil in a bowl so here i am having some soil with me so i will take in a bowl i have taken it so what is the next step pour some water over the soil and you will see the bubbles of air coming out of the soil let us see what will happen what they are saying when we pour some water in this soil so we are able to see the bubbles let us see can you see students the bubbles are coming can you see bubbles can you see the bubbles yes the bubbles are coming now why these bubbles are coming out from the soil yes because 
the air present in the spaces between the soil particle they ex they escape from the they escape from the soil through the bubble so through this activity we can prove that the soil contained air understood everyone yes this is very simple activity you can do at your home what do you have to do once again i'll repeat take one ball bowl with the soil so you have to pour some water then you will be able to see the bubbles coming out from the soil so why these bubbles are coming this is because the air present in the spaces between the soil particles they are escapes in the form of bubbles understood clear so this activity you are going to do at home so shall we can you see on the screen yes so this activity is given in the canopy also once again you can see on the page number 18 and you have to do and you have to see what will happen okay now one more activity will do now we have proved that soil contained air now we are going to prove that soil contained water also through this activity you can see one picture so what we have to do take some soil in a bowl and heat it on a in on a stove or gas what we have to do you can see in the first picture we have taken one bowl and with the soil and we have to heat it on a stove or gas in this way and what is the next step hold a metal plate over it so can you see in the third picture what we have to do we have to take one metal plate to close that bowl so we have to keep plate then what is the third step you will see small droplets of water forming on the underside of plate so what they are saying when you heat this bowl on the gas so after some and when you will cover the cover this bowl with the plate after some times when you open that you are able to see the small droplets of water can you see here yes these are the small droplets of water why they are coming because the soil contained water also so due to heat the soil uh, the water is coming out from the soil through through what they are coming out from the uh, sorry through droplets okay so i will tell you once again this is because water present in soil evaporates means they turn to the water vapor on heating and condenses means turns back to the water only when it touches the cold plate see simply you will if you will keep only ball on the stove or gas you are not able to see what you have to keep you have to keep one cold plate means normal plate you have to cover it so after some time you are able to see the droplets understood this we can we can't do in this session and you are also not going to try anything at home okay but with this activity we can prove that soil contained water with the first activity we can prove that soil contained air and with the second activity we can prove that soil contained water understood still here yes now i want to show you something See, today we are going to see the three different types of soil. First is loamy soil, second is sandy soil, and the third is clay soil. So let I let us see in details. Okay, can you see on the screen types of soils? As I have shown you, sandy, loamy, and clay soil. let us start one by one now have you seen have you seen a potter make pots yes students 
you can see on the picture what potter is doing he is making pots have you seen before okay might be you have seen so what the the potter is making pots so what he will use the soil that he used to make the pots is soft and can be easily made into any shape how we can make the pots with the help of soil because which soil he will use na that soil is very soft and with the help of that soil he can give he can convert into any shape he will make different types of pots na yes he will make different types of pots how we will make because he can give different shape to that pots easily due to softness of that soil understood yes the soil contain tiny particles and is smooth to touch when you touch to this clay uh, clay soil na it is very soft and the soil contain very tiny particles understood and it mostly contain clay only what potter use na that that soil is having mostly contain clay only so you can see in the name itself it is there such soil is called clayey soil understood everyone what is mean by clayey soil yes yes so the soil contain tiny particles and is smooth to touch it is mostly contained by clay only so such soil is known as a clayey soil so here you can see the clay soil okay clay soil do not have large spaces between them okay keep in your mind and there is not much water in the soil i will show you through the picture water cannot go through this soil easily why because of the stickiness therefore soil holds a lot of water and is sticky okay you can see here i'm having clay soil can you see the large large spaces between them no we cannot see the space between this soil and so when there is there is not much air in this soil has we have seen the bubbles comes out na through the soil so we cannot see we cannot find air in this soil and water cannot go through this soil easily i'll show you through the picture okay see here can you see in the first picture yeah we have planted one tree with the clay soil when we pour water to the clay soil the clay soil cannot means what will happen through the clay soil you can see in the picture when we pour water to the clay soil there is not much air in the soil first of all and water cannot go through this soil easily you can see why it will not go till down because it holds why because it is very sticky uh, this what clay soil is very sticky that's what water cannot go through this soil easily understood now we will see the some more points what you can see here plant okay plants root need both air and water to grow okay i have shown you the picture of plant how they will grow with the help of air and water roots need roots need air and water to grow yes or no yes so this is the clayey soil therefore most plants cannot grow well in clay soil why because there is not much air in this soil but plants need both the things what air and as well as water to grow well so therefore what is our conclusion the most plants cannot grow well in clay soil understood yes students understood yes now we will move to the our next type of soil now what you can see on in the picture yes students have you been to the beach 
yes maybe you have went with your family with your parents or else you have seen these type of beach in the pictures okay now playing with sand is lot of fun i hope you all have played with the sand you love to play with the soil, uh, sand now soil which contain a lot of sand is called sandy soil see this is also same has it is given in the has it is very clear by the name only sandy soil contain more sand you can see soil which contain a lot of sand is called sandy soil understood let us see about sandy soil sandy soil has large particles with lots of spaces between them once again i will show you here see this is the sandy soil you can see the large particles can you see the large particles of the soil in the sandy soil yes then what happened they have lots of spaces between them compared to clay soil you can see the clay soil there are there are very tiny particles but in a sandy soil large particles are there okay now see water goes through this spaces very easily why they go because they are very large particle and they have lots of spaces between them understood i will show you how water goes through this spaces very easily with one picture we will see next therefore sandy soil cannot hold much water how yes why because they have lots of spaces between them they are large particles so due to that water goes water goes downwards too much so soil cannot hold much water we so that is what very few plants can grow in sandy soil now i will show you through the picture you can see the sandy soil in the first picture where but very few plants grow in a sandy soil okay keep in your mind now you can see the in second picture we have planted one plant with the help of sandy soil then what will happen soil which contain lot of sand is called sandy soil it is clear yes but sandy soil is having large particles yes or no with lots of space also between them then what will happen because of that space the water goes over down very easily so the plants cannot hold water much water see has we have studied plants need both the things air and water when this soil cannot hold the water how they can give the water to the plants of root they cannot give so that is what very few plants can grow in a sandy soil understood we'll move to the third type now see this is the soil which soil it is this is the loamy soil now what they are saying loam is a mixture of sand and clay i'll show you this is a loamy soil this look like a dark black or dark brown okay what they are saying this loamy loamy soil is mixture mixture of clay soil and sandy soil when we add this together one new soil form that is loamy soil understood yes now i have shown you through the picture also can you see on the screen see clay soil and sandy soil when loam is a mixture of this both the soils understood yes now about loamy soil it can hold both water and air who can hold both loamy soil loamy soil can hold both water and air loamy soil also has humus in it we have studied about humus do you remember students yes rotted plant rotted plants and animals are called 
humus humus is in dark and black in color and where we use this uh, why it is useful because it is very good for the healthy growth of plants we have studied previously yes so most of the plants grow well in loamy soil as you can see in the picture so most of the plants grow well in a loamy soil why because these this soil can hold both the things water and air as i have shown you one plants with the roots what plants required roots required water and air both the things together equal then only plants can grow properly y yes understood till here is it clear till here everyone yes shall we move for the next yes we'll move to the next point yeah i forgot to show you about the picture of loamy soil na yes see here middle one this plant we have plant we have grown in, with the help of loam soil see loamy soil can hold both equal like air also and water also you can see through this picture i hope you all have understood well so keep in your mind most plants grow well in loamy soil only okay we'll move to the next point now we are going to see the important of soil okay now we all know that soil is important to earth and as well as for us for us means for humans how can you tell me how yeah now tell me is it possible for you to survive without plant on earth yes students is it possible for us to survive without plants no definitely not but where do the plants grow yes where do the plants grow plants grow in soil only yes they grow in soil now what they require what plants required students do you know they take water and minerals from the soil who will take plants can you see the plants what they will take they will take water and minerals from the soil to grow well thus soil provide us with food yes so i will tell you how see we depend on plant and plants depend on soil the soil produces food see from where we get the food yes students from where we get the food through the plants product like fruits vegetable uh, like rice uh, grains all things we 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 get from the plants only so where plants grow plants grow in soil so are you getting automatically we we are also depending on the soil so why because we need if we want to eat the food we get from the plants only so automatically we are we depend on the plants but what about plants how they grow plants depend on the soil yes or no so the soil provide us with food automatically understood now we will see some different plants grow in different types of soil and one more thing i would like to tell you that if there are no plants we have nothing to eat so plants many trees okay now see what you can see here you can see the rice yes or no so from where we get this rice from rice plant and these these rice rice grows well in clay soil keep in your mind i'll repeat again rice plant grows well in clay soil we will see some other examples yes students what you can see this is called bajra okay 
from where we get this bajra from bajra plant now where this bajra grow well see in sandy soil so bajra grows well in sandy soil keep in your mind we'll see the next one now what about loamy soil now we have seen one example of sandy clayey soil and sandy soil but most of the plants grow well in a loamy soil why because loamy soil loamy soil hold both the things water and soil also we do have humus in loamy soil that is that's why most of the plants grow well in loamy soil understood still here yes now see some more points manures and fertilizers are added to soil to make it rich and fertile now can you see the cow dung means waste of animals we use waste of animals to fertilize the soil we use manures manures means khate fertilizers means like uh, organic fertilizers can you see in the picture the farmer what is doing he is fertilizing the farm to to he is giving fertilizers to the soil to make his farm rich and fertile means by giving fertilizers and manures to the soil we can grow plants very fast and properly like healthily understood plants can then grow better and give a greater yield understood everyone till here we'll move to the next point now what you can see in this picture see this what it is these are called earthworms where they stay do you know students have you seen before this where they stay yes as you can see in the picture they are mixed with the soil so they stay in a soil now what about rabbit rabbit also live in soil only and what about mole they also live in a soil as i have told you how soil is important for plants as well as for us for humans so in the same way soil is also very important for some animals also because they some animals live in soil i have shown you through the examples so some animals like earthworms rabbit and moles burrow and live in the soil only understood still here yes now again where we use this soil yes students you can see the building and one house we also use things from the soil to build our houses how see we use we use things from the soil to build our house i will show you one by one cement yes we use cement bricks rocks and sand to build the building now can you tell me how this cement is made up of the cement is made up of clay soil and brick i'll show you one brick where we use this brick yes students yes to build the house okay so this brick is made up of like this red color soil okay and and sandy soil has you know rocks okay and see the glass also do you remember we have studied in the second chapter that glass is made up of sand so here we can say we make cement bricks and glass from the soil so soil is very important so what we have studied today we have studied full cha third chapter rock sand soil we have studied different types of rocks different types of soil and the important of soil 
So what is your today's home assignment? You have to open your canopy and you have to read full chapter. Okay. And try to underline the hard words and learn those hard words. And second is you have to do the practical. How, what, what does soil contain? Soil contained air. I have shown you through the activity. I hope you remember. Otherwise, you can see that activity in the canopy page number 1818. First activity you are going to do at home. Has a home assignment. Okay. We will see some question and answers in our next session. Till that time, take care. Bye-bye.